In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the selector tool and the hand grabber tool. The selector tool is located in between the trimmer tool and the hand grabber tool. And it works much like a selector tool would in a word processing program like Microsoft Word. You select what it is that you wish to hear, copy, or even paste. And you can audition it by hitting the spacebar or by hitting the left bracket, which is actually the preferred method. Now, if I want to copy this, I'll choose Command C for copy. I'll place a cursor somewhere in my session and Command V for paste. And it pastes that region. Now, if I want to reveal the parent region, I'll just choose the trimmer tool and trim outwards. Undo that and we'll delete this copy. The selector tool can be used in combination with the separation tool to create really quick copies of selected areas. You choose the selector tool, select a portion of a region, hit F8 to select the hand grabber tool, and hit F8 again to get the separation tool, which looks like a hand grabber with scissors on top. Hold down Option, and then click and drag the region that's selected. This will duplicate the region, effectively doing a copy-paste as we just did. And this is a really quick and easy way to uh, copy portions of the region. If you do not hold Option, you'll actually take out the selected portion. The Selector tool can also be used to split regions. You place the Selector tool where you want to split the region. Command E to split region. If you have a highlighted portion, it'll split around the highlighted portion. You can heal a separation by highlighting all of the region, choosing Edit, Heal Separation, or Command H. Also with the Selector tool or the Hand Grabber tool, we can select regions that are um, put together, and here I've got an organ pad that has a bunch of crossfades to create a really smooth, continuous sound. And I can create a new region by consolidating all of these regions into one by choosing Edit, Consolidate. And now I've got a brand new region. Now with this new consolidated region, I'm going to show you a trick that is used a lot in audio production to create um, what's called a gated sound. So a sound that goes quickly on and off and kind of creates a choppy sound. It's used a lot in electronic music. Let's take a listen to just the organ sound. So I'll solo the track and press play. So I've got the grid mode on, which is critical for doing this technique. And I've got the grid mode resolution set to a 30 second note because I want to chop it up to get um, 16th notes. Now what I do is I choose the hand grabber and select the entire region and choose Edit, Separate Region on Grid. No pre-separation amount for this particular um, example. And now I have lots and lots and lots of regions. So I'll zoom in. And basically the process is separate a long held sound into really small portions and then delete every other portion to get a kind of choppy rhythmic sound. So I'll delete that, that. And I can do this for a bar. and then choose the selector tool to select all of these. I'm going to apply fades to them to minimize clicking. So Apple F, and it'll apply fades to all of them. Press OK, and I may get a warning that I don't have enough space that I have to adjust the bounds, and that's OK. All right, let's take a listen. Now, I could keep deleting these, but Actually, it's better to just choose the selector tool. 
and then Apple D to duplicate. Let's take a listen. And of course, we will throw the drums in. And it creates a really interesting sound um, that later we can even apply some effects onto and get a really cool kind of swirly um, dance sound all out of just using separate on grid, add the selector tool, and a nice long held sound. <laughs> 